Hello, I'm Marcus Buckland, formerly of Sky Sports, and now one of the two main tennis presenters on Amazon Prime Video. And it's my pleasure to welcome you to this Business of Tennis webinar presented by the Tennis Industry Association UK. TIA UK is the not-for-profit members trade organization bringing together companies, clubs, and individuals with business interests in UK tennis. Now, I would normally be introducing this topic live from the All England Club, but because of COVID-19, the TIA UK has converted its annual Business of Tennis Forum into a series of webinars aimed to help tennis club businesses grow and be more profitable. Uh, the series of webinars is sponsored by BLM, the TIA UK's legal partner, and is supported by the LTA. Now, the webinar topics focus on some key business issues affecting clubs and operators of tennis venues, illustrate best practice, and how clubs can maximize opportunities to grow and increase revenue. Of course, we are living in strange times and there are plenty of challenges ahead, but there's also a lot of support from the governing body and others such as TIA UK to help get tennis clubs back on track. The good news is that you don't need to take any notes because a copy of this webinar will be available on the TIA UK website. The webinar is pre-recorded, but you can send any questions to the email given at the end of the webinar and you'll be answered just as quickly as possible. We sincerely hope that you find this interesting, informative and forward thinking. Thank you very much. As in many sports, there is a careful balance between protecting the traditions of tennis and encouraging new technology to make the sport more accessible and enjoyable. In this webinar, we highlight some new and recent innovative products and services to help address a number of themes that have posed challenges to the development of tennis in the UK. A key challenge for British tennis for many years has been to make it easier for people to get into tennis. Identifying where you can play, knowing how accessible it is and how welcome you will feel. And finding players of a similar level to play against. We can't do much about our weather, and so we need to maximise the opportunities for play. Covered courts are best, but are still limited in number and accessibility. But adding more floodlights remains a very practical option and can increase play by 33%. Increasing tennis participation by increasing its attractiveness and reach to new audiences. And what will attract new players, both adults and juniors, to the sport in a digital age. And tennis is not the best at helping people understand if they are improving and how they can measure easily their playing level against others. These themes are fairly well known and understood. How does technology help? This webinar highlights some recent and new products and services that aim to make the tennis offer more accessible and more enjoyable. Hello everyone, my name is Chris Pollard, I'm the Head of Strategy and Innovation at the LTA and I'm presenting today on the first challenge in relation to making the journey to court easier. So in, in, in the context of making the journey to court easier, I thought it was just important to summarise the LTA's overall vision that was uh, launched via an announcement last spring um, and that is all about uh, Tennis Opened Up and reaching new audience through the sport. Um, that, that will be done via driving more people to tennis through making the sport more relevant, more accessible, more welcoming and more enjoyable. And in particular, the accessibility um, of courts, having a more welcoming experience and ultimately through experiences that people have with tennis, uh, they find it more enjoyable. Then we're gonna have more people joining the sport and more people coming back. Uh, more often to play the sport. So in that context, we also have seven um, different strategies to deliver tennis open up. And I thought it was just worth putting, you know, in, in the context of this session about making that customer journey for uh, people to play tennis easier and more accessible. That, as you can see in the middle here, falls very squarely 
under our accessibility strategy, one of one of seven strategies um, that collectively will deliver um, an opened up um, sport of tennis. Um, but others that are that are kind of relevant is is innovation um, and, and engagement, where there are other tactics there that we can use to um, get get more people digitally to um, into tennis um, and keep them in tennis. So this is quite a busy slide, but it, it probably sets a bit of further detail around the LTA's um, digital strategy and in particular how we're making more broadly the digital journey for adults a lot easier. You know, ultimately, as you can see in the top right here, the vision is to enable adults to be able to play tennis where they want, how they want, and when they want. So ultimately, you know, success for the LTA looks like a tennis court booking service that is fast, frictionless, um, and ultimately increases uh, court utilization across um, the tennis courts uh, for the length and breadth of Britain. Um, more tennis programs being offered, uh, supporting venues and ultimately boosting participation numbers, getting more people into competition, which is such a great driver for retention in the sport, um, making tennis e easier um, for others to find people of a similar standard, You'll hear um, Keith Carter talk uh, later on in this session around the world tennis number and, and how that can be achieved. Um, and of course, success also looks like new, new memberships for non-club players um, and increased flexibility um, in, in terms of playing tennis. Um, I, I, I'm not going to go, go into too much detail on this slide because um, you know, I'm sure everyone's relatively familiar with, with the research in Britain and, and hence the, the challenges that are being addressed in this session. But, the insight that we have is that you know players want to be able to book seamlessly a court, book a coaching session, um, book well group and individual coaching sessions, enter competitions, find players with similar standard, and, and find membership. So, so this kind of um, summarises a, a key focus for the LTA to get those 3.7 million adults in tennis playing easier by by making that journey to court more frictionless. So the LTA have um, embarked on a journey over the past 18 months in, in enabling this through um, the introduction of a new um, tennis um, platform called LTA Rally. So it's, it's a mobile um, enabled website, as you can see here, looks, looks really clean and, and, and seamless on a mobile, but equally obviously works across tablet and, and desktop and enables people with just a few clicks uh, of, of, of a mouse or uh, buttons on a, on a smartphone to, to book courts, book group tennis lessons, play matches via um, local tennis leagues, uh, which is a new competition product owned by the LTA, and via other um, free events. So that would be things like open days and via sessions that we run uh, with our uh, partner Tennis for Free. And, you know, really, uh, but booking any of these sessions should be as easy as uh, to book a book a takeaway, and you know traditionally and historically it's been quite difficult to to book a court. And over the past um, year or so, having piloted last summer uh, with uh, circa 100 venues, we've now scaled up to 700 venues um, across Britain now on this platform, and hence with a few clicks, people are able to book courts lessons, play matches, uh, and, and book free events. Um, now, that LTA Rally platform is, is ultimately uh, powered via a, a close partnership we have um, with, with the Club Spark platform, which is aimed very much at tennis uh, coaches, uh, tennis clubs, and local authorities to make the organizing of tennis um, really, really simple. So there are a series of modules within Club Spark that cover off court booking, um, flexible scheduling of, of court time, um, it will collect payments, um, it will manage membership and communications and, 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 and the collection of annual memberships. Um, it allows clubs and coaches to build their own website, deliver coaching programs and provides a lot of reporting analysis. So behind the scenes, this is the tennis platform that allows venues and coaches um, and indeed those local authorities to uh, digitize, if you like, their court inventory, court inventories and, and their coaching programs. And that therefore unlocks um, the ability for that uh, data 
an inventory to be aggregated through uh, the rally platform I, I just showed you. Um, so whilst we've been thinking a lot about digital adoption of ClubSpark and the um, therefore the, the inventory that's available on, on ClubSpark, uh, the, the overall end-to-end -end user journey is, is, is really simple now. It's been modeled on you know, other sites such as Airbnb, which, which provides a really um, brilliant uh, customer end-to-end uh, -end journey, making it really simple to, to find the nearest court to you understand the price points, the availability, and be able to book and, and, and pay for it if it's a charge for court um, in, in, in a number of quick steps. Um, that, that happens through, through the branded um, website on phone, tablet and web, but we've really tried to work hard as well on the on-court experience as well as digital experience. And so here um, you can see some of the, the assets that are available to clubs and local authorities to make it really simple and clear how tennis players can access those courts and book them and have the certainty that when they turn up, um, those courts will be free and accessible in most cases via, in many cases via um, the gate access technology where you get a four digit pin, which opens the gate and ensures that that, that court indeed will be um, available for you. So in a nutshell, that's some of the work that the LTA have been doing to date digitally to, to open tennis up. Um, and we've been working in close partnership with, with Deloitte, who were announced earlier this year as the digital transformation um, partner of, of the LTA. And they've produced a video, which I'm going to just show in a, a minute's time, which will run through a lot more detail around what our future vision for opening tennis up looks like. But before I do that, I just want to close with, with a case study. This is an example of a club um, earlier this summer who um, got on board with the, the, the Club Spark platform um, and then linked up through our aggregator rally um, and, and, and delivered outcomes in an incredibly short period of time. Um, they, this was the first time they'd opened up their courts to non-club members. And so they got 432 paid for court bookings. That led, led to conversions uh, to membership and then utilizing a number of other tactics, including a marketing campaign, um, linked closely with the LTA's Play, Play Your Way, um, back to tennis campaign after the, the, the lockdown, um, enabled a 41 increase in, in members, um, which, which really dramatically transformed the fortunes of, of that club. So, you know, the, the, there's a case in point for how we can improve the journey to court and support the long-term financial sustainability um, of clubs as well. So I'll um, close at that point with um, just a short video, as I mentioned, um, with our digital transformation partners in Deloitte, showing um, what the vision for a digitally opened up tennis will look like in 2023. Thanks for listening. At the LTA, we are opening up tennis for the nation, using digital to serve players, fans, and the thousands of coaches, colleagues, volunteers, and partners who come together to grow the game on and off the court. We're making engaging with tennis accessible and enjoyable, delivering against our vision of opening up tennis and getting more people playing more often. Like Sophie, Sophie wants to get back into tennis after moving cities. Within moments, she's renewed her LTA membership, joined a local tennis league, and set up her first match against Joe, including booking a court and splitting payment. At the courts, Sophie and Joe use a code to unlock the court and check in. After the match, they submit their results on the digital portal. At home that evening, Sophie syncs her wearable and checks her stats. Her World Tennis number rating has improved. She can see she needs to work on her serve and looks for coaching options nearby, booking a lesson within a few clicks. Cameron accepts the request for a lesson and is happy that the final slot for the weekend has been filled. He uses the information provided by Sophie and the latest serving drills uploaded on the LTA to create his lesson plan. Back in the game, Sophie checks out the latest tennis news and even enters a photo competition to win a new racket. Together, we're digitally transforming tennis. We look forward to you being part of the journey and tennis leading the way for sport in Great Britain.
swing a bag, baby. The most perfect practice partner. Hi everyone, my name is Ganesh and I'm one of the founders of the Spin Tennis app, which is an app that helps you find tennis partners nearby, so you can get a game quickly and easily. Um, but first I just kind of want to start with a, a bit of a story of how it all came about. Um, I'd moved to London a few years ago and didn't know anyone and I was desperate for a game and was messaging anyone if they had any friends that played tennis. I was posting on Facebook but I really couldn't find anywhere at all and uh, and I guess this is the kind of realization tennis is a great sport but you but you, it's no fun if you've got no one to play with um, and I was like right what shall I do and then I thought okay next I'll try joining a tennis club but here's the thing unless you know people in the club I had, I had actually the same problem it was just just an expensive one now um, because people were in their own little cliques and I, I didn't know anyone there either. Um, so I thought there has to be a better way and um, decided to create an app to make the whole process easier and, uh, and that's how Spin was born. So, you know, the problem finding someone to play with is, 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 is a big problem and, and it's one of the biggest barriers to participation because obviously, you know, if you've, you can't play if you've got no one to play with. Um, and it's not just about finding anyone, you've got to find someone, the, the right someone that can play that is lives near you, is free when you are, and is also importantly of the same similar skill level. Um, and you know, right now people, you know, like I said, post on Facebook or use WhatsApp groups or are in clubs, they tend to uh, maybe sometimes have a notice board where people put the name and number at the back or, or ask the coach if they know anyone. But the problem is you end up in this same kind of back and forth situation of can you free are you free here? No, I'm not free, or oh, you blah 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 and it just goes and then you never end up playing or it takes forever to to, to get a game. Um, and that's what we were trying to really make easy and, and, and solve. Um, and, and that's really why we why we built Spin, which is uh, the quickest and easiest way to find a partner uh, and get a game in London right now, which is where we're um, initially based. Um, so the easiest way is probably to to show you a demo of the app. So this is obviously how it looks when you when you're signed up and you when you first uh, open the app. Um, and then you know you can go to your profile. You can set your picture, your location, your availability. Um, and then you can see all the games around you that other people have posted. Um, obviously this is a demo, not not with lockdown. There's no games right now. Um, but you know this guy's posted a game. He's got a court booked, um, and because he's already got a court booked, I just have to join the game, um, and uh, that time worked for me. So I just let him know that, yeah, James, I can do that, um, and that's it. I'm I'm playing. There's no there's no back and forth. Um, he's already said that he wants to play at that time, um, but obviously, if I don't want to play, I can create my own game. So I can post, yeah, I want to play a Sunday, um, I want to play a court near me, okay, Highbury Fields works for me, I book the court, um, and then I also want to set who can play with me, so I don't want to play with beginners and improvers, I only want to play with intermediate, and that's it, I post it, and that will go out to all the players nearby that, that are available at that time and of the right skill level, uh, but I can also invite people as well if I choose. Um, and that's it. Um, that goes out to everyone, and if anybody can do that, they'll come back to me. Um, and that's why it's really, really easy and quick to to get a game. Um, but that's only kind of part of the problem. You know, once you found someone and you're you're playing, we want to obviously keep people playing tennis. That's the that that's the the key thing. Um, and so we've created leagues and tournaments that are all run on the app. To keep people playing these friendly competitions um, and keep playing tennis, and and the reason that they work is that you can arrange games really quickly and easily through the you know the in-app chat. Uh, you can report the scores directly in the app, um, and there's a league table with with real-time standings. 
Um, so it's the easiest way to, to arrange and play your uh, league matches too. And again, probably the easiest way is just to uh, show you a demo here. So this is the, the league section of the app. So you can see um, the Hackney Tennis League here, which has got 141 players in it. Um, so these are some couple of other club leagues that we've got running in the app as well. Um, and when I'm in a, in, in a league, in a box league, I get given all the, the chats of the people that are in my box. So here's six or seven other people that I have to chat with and arrange a game. And once we've agreed when to play and, and booked a core, just add the score after the game really simply and also can add a summary for the, for the, for the game too. And, and this is kind of the key because once you can then you, the, the, the league table is in real time, you can see all the scores and the points, but people are really engaged and adding lots of comments. These are all real comments about, about their game, you know, a long battle over two weekends, you know. So this is, this is like a real sense of community going on in, the, in, these, in these leagues. Uh, and obviously you can view the other divisions as well to see how they're doing and see that one day you might be able to get up to Division 1. Um, so that's the league. Um, and just to kind of show you the, the benefits of, of these leagues, um, uh, Hackney uh, was running their box leagues previously before Spin using um, a spreadsheet and email. Um, so people would email the scores back and forth um, and the organizer would have to manually update a spreadsheet so it took forever to see the results there were loads of mistakes and it was kind of a pain for both the players and the organizers um, and back when we started there were I think 72 players in that league and on average 50% of the total possible matches in, in, a, in a box league were getting played um, after they switched to spin uh, it was a fully automated solution so it was really simple for the organizers to see what was going on and they didn't have to do do very much um, and the players could see what was going on add their scores through the app the, the, the table updated in real time um, all the walkovers and, and retirements were dealt with um, so it's much easier for them to, to play and more enjoyable for them to play um, and it helped so we the, the league grew we, we doubled the league from to nearly 140 players uh, and uh, more matches were, were played because because it was easier to organize those matches um, so 76 percent of matches total m matches got played and this is a number that we're working on improving all the time but you know what does this mean more money the club is a, is a pay and play club and more people are booking the course more people are playing so the club increased their revenues and more than covered the cost of, of what they paid to use Spin. Um, and that's really what we see as a big benefit for clubs going forward. We can help them get new members. Um, we can help them keep their existing members. You know, I joined the club and left because I couldn't find anyone to play with. So we can help people find other players within the club and we can, you know, make the, the league more enjoyable to play for both the member and are also easier to organize for the for the club too which ultimately means increased revenues um, so spin last year we actually won the uh, 2019 tennis industry association innovation award so that's us receiving the uh, the award in queens and uh, yeah i clearly only have one jumper in my wardrobe right now <laughs> i need to, need to update my wardrobe um, so we're you know, winning awards, we're growing fast and we'd love to work with, with more clubs to, to help clubs you know, um, kind of embrace technology, embrace innovation and you know, which could these all make tennis more fun, more enjoyable um, and, and, and you know, get more people into the game. So we'd love you to you know, give us a spin. Um, you can download the app if you want to try it. Obviously, lockdown right now, so there's not much activity going on at the moment. Um, but uh, you can download it from the App Store or the Google Play Store. Uh, or if you want any more information about the um, about Spin and how we can help clubs, please drop me an email, Ganesh at SpinTennisApp.com, and I would love to help and uh, and see if we can get Spin in your clubs. So thank you very much.
everyone. My name is Jo Downing. I work within the strategy and innovation team at the LTA. Today, I'm going to be talking about new formats of the game and how we plan to reach new audiences through innovation. Innovation is a key strategy within our five-year plan and fundamental to widening the appeal of tennis beyond just our traditional audiences. We want to identify and promote versions of the game that make tennis more fun, flexible and easier to play. The picture you can see at the moment is of the recently installed Innovation Zone at the National Tennis Centre. This is at the heart of our work to create new routes into tennis and grow participation. So we're going to take a look in a bit more detail. The great thing about the Innovation Zone is that it's providing us with a really exciting and flexible space to test and explore new ideas. The four main activities we are looking at at the moment are paddle, gaming on the interactive wall itself, cardio tennis and other classes, and using the space for a variety of different events. So seeing as the interactive wall forms part of the offer for all of these different elements, let's, let's start there with, with the wall. We've worked with a cutting edge technology company to install the LED wall, which you can obviously see here on the screen. This product merges innovative gaming technology with traditional sports. So it's really providing a platform for anybody to pick up a racket and get involved regardless of their age or their tennis ability. The wall offers a, a range of different programming options in addition to the 10 games that are already installed. And you can just see the different game icons at the, the, the bottom of the, of the screen there. But there's also the ability to stream live TV and the internet through the wall. Uh, and this obviously is where the opportunities for events and training are. Mm -hmm. The wall can also be incorporated into cardio tennis sessions, and I'll come back to that in a second. And also uh, perfect and a, a really good fit with running children's birthday parties, especially for Mini Red. We believe this could be um, a really significant new income stream and help venues to uh, reach more, more new children uh, through those parties. So having spent a bit of time on the wall myself, it's, it's extremely intuitive. So most people will only need a very simple introduction or demonstration before they can start playing. We are currently in a rather disrupted um, testing phase uh, at the moment, but we're going through testing to obviously improve the functionality of the wall and get the operational side of it um, sorted before we hopefully launch to the public next year. The early testing that we did manage to do before the restrictions came in prove that the music, the graphics and games, they're all very fun, simple, fast moving, and they resonated really well with all different levels of ability, uh, which I think is really a, a really important, important thing. So moving on to cardio tennis, just very quickly, for anybody who doesn't know, cardio tennis is a high energy group fitness session that combines music tennis with cardiovascular exercise. It's all about getting your heart rate up, having lots of fun. It's not about um, technique. So cardio was developed in America, but it's been in the UK for over 10 years now. And 
whilst the programme has proved popular with, with venues and coaches, during this time, there's been a huge expansion of the fitness industry and participation in this area has really rocketed, leaving traditional sports to, to play a bit of catch up. So by partnering with MyZone, we've been able to install digital heart rate software onto the wall itself, meaning that cardio participants will receive real-time feedback during their sessions. So there will be no slacking. Um, they'll basically have their heart rate tracked. It will record the number of calories burnt and it will show them um, which of the cardiovascular zones they were working out at during the session. And this is all done through wearable technology that, that links to the wall. So by enhancing our existing cardio tennis offer in this way, we want to test its relevance alongside similar offers within the, the fitness industry. The aim here is to, to position cardio tennis to attract new participants, especially females, and to win back some of the, the women that we've lost to the fitness industry um, over the last few years as well. Paddle. So paddle is a form of tennis that is very easy to play. It's really fun and uh, is extremely sociable. And that's mainly due to the fact that it's played in a doubles format. Because the court is smaller and the game isn't really focused, or, uh, focused around power, it can be enjoyed by everybody. So regardless of age and ability, just like the wall, um, you can get going um, really quickly with, with paddle. Paddle has gained increasing popularity over recent years. It's one of the fastest growing sports across continental Europe, but here in the UK, there are only 82 paddle courts. Um, so we have recently launched a development plan that will significantly grow the paddle infrastructure over the next few years. And we have the aim of um, 400 new courts by 2023. So we're, we're putting in that infrastructure to enable venues to uh, attract new people into tennis through, through paddle. So just to touch on future plans before I sign off, um, this is really just a very quick summary, but with the wall, we obviously want to do more testing and we've got some specific user groups in mind. Obviously some taster events for cardio to, to really start to understand um, how that MyZone heart rate technology enhances the uh, session. We want to trial some different versions of mini red children's birthday parties and start to look at the different costing models and options. And we're also going to run a corporate experience within the interactive zone for one of our commercial partners. We are also working really closely with Virtus Leisure on developing the concept of the interactive wall. We are installing a projector-based model at one of their indoor centres and this will enable us to pilot how this projector-based model performs within the venue from both a participation perspective, but also looking at how it generates income. Now, if this is successful, we'd like to explore the rollout of um, a much bigger number of interactive walls across the UK in the future. Finally, just um, going back to Paddle, the emphasis and focus there will very much be on driving that development plan and if you want to take a look at that that is available on the LTA website. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Hello my name is Sebastian and I'm here to introduce Tennis. Tennis provides you with Grand Slam level real-time line calls. Also, scoring, serve and shot speeds, pro level stats and shot maps, 
and video tools to make the player progression faster. This is tennis and it's placed next to the net post and it will automatically bring magic to your court. We use high speed cameras for the player and ball tracking and we're applying the same algorithms as Google and Tesla for self-driving cars. With skeleton tracking, we are able to identify all shot types, change of direction, acceleration and distance covered. With two cameras, we detect the exact location of every single shot and bounce, and then calculate the speed, spin, net clearance and points won and lost. We also use audio triangulation to get highly accurate line calls. Our system has been used in the Finnish Tennis League with ATP level players and the Finnish Tennis Federation has approved it as an official line calling system. After the match, players and coaches will receive pro level stats on their serves, crown strokes, rally lengths and points won and lost. We also provide easy to understand shot maps with the depth of your shots, whether you play on your opponent's forehand or backhand, how much you play behind and inside the baseline and how often you come to the net. We also provide you information on your spin and net clearance. Tennis comes with interactive drills with real-time feedback for serves and crown strokes. These drills are fun and provide purpose for practicing. This makes progress monitoring concrete and actionable. Our baseline camera enables you to do live streaming. Match summaries and highlights are automatically created from the recorded matches and you can share those with your family and friends on social media. Installing tennis is very easy and fast. Simply place tennis next to the next post. Then all you need to do is to install two sensor cables, a baseline camera and plug in the electricity. Then you just connect tennis to Wi-Fi and calibrate the device. The price for tennis is £8,040 plus £36 monthly license fee. But pre-order now and get 20% discount. Just use the promotion code TIAUK and you're entitled to a discount until, until the end of this year. To know more, please contact me directly at sebastian at tennis.com. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Keith Carter, Head of Competition at the LTA, and I'm going to talk to you about uh, measuring how you are improving and how technology and innovation is making tennis more accessible uh, and enjoyable. Uh, so first of all, we'll talk about tennis. The best way to measure if you're improving in tennis is to get on court and play in a competition. Uh, we obviously are very lucky with tennis that there can be competitions for players of all different standards, all different levels, from a local level up to internationals, from beginners to pros. And we're very, very lucky that we also have a sport that can be played as part of a team uh, and also is a individual competition. Uh, one of the key things for us in measuring how you are improving is a tennis rating. There's tennis ratings have been around for many, many years, and there's been various systems across the world. And uh, I'm going to talk to you a little bit more today about the new ITF World Tennis number. So what is a tennis rating? Uh, a tennis rating is a tool to measure your standard to see if you are progressing. Uh, an accurate rating gives you an appropriate level based play and obviously having an appropriate match is what everyone wants to see if you're improving but most importantly to retain you in the game of tennis so just to get into it a little bit first of all I want to talk about competition uh, and this first slide shows you very much that those people who play in either individual or team competitions play in many more many more months throughout the year uh, so you can see that the summer is obviously very busy with social tennis, but those people who are competitors play all year round, they play more often and they're more likely to stay in the sport. So it shows that to have a good competitive tennis match will keep you in the game for longer. 
So specifically around uh, tennis ratings to measure if you're improving, uh, we've had a rating system in British tennis uh, for many years, and we were really excited to announce in summer of 2019 that we were partnering with the ITF on the world tennis number. So we're working with uh, many other federations, but the, the Grand Slam nations of the USTA uh, and the French Tennis Federation. So the world tennis number is gonna come into play in the not too distant future, uh, likely to be now sort of early 2021. Uh, it's a common language for tennis, a bit like a golf handicap. So all across the world, uh, you'll be able to say what your world tennis number is, which will be able to tell you what your standard of play is and the chance for you to measure your standard of play. And most importantly, find a really close level-based match. Uh, so really excited about this, very similar to a golf handicap. So how does the world tennis number work? Uh, it's calculated and here are some of the key features. Uh, it's a dynamic algorithm and that's where the technology comes in. Uh, very, very sophisticated algorithm that really gives you an accurate rating. Uh, it will be sort of uh, repeated on a weekly basis. So you'll be able to see if your number changes at least weekly, uh, it may go even more regular in the future. Uh, there's a separate singles and doubles measure, which is uh, in British tennis, really exciting for us. This is the first time we had a doubles measure. And we know there's lots of people who love just playing doubles in those county and district leagues. Uh, it would also look at the quality of a player's match results rather than the quantity. So many rating systems in the past have been about number of matches you play, but that doesn't always mean you're uh, a better player than someone else. So now it's about the quality of what you do rather than the quantity. It will look at set level. So by that, if I lose a match two sets to one, I do get uh, rewarded for that one set I have won. So that's gonna also help the algorithm. It's gender and age neutral. So male and female, whatever age they are, whether they're 15 or 50, will all go on the same scale, which is really exciting because it's a great opportunity for people of all different ages and genders to be able to have equal matches. Uh, and again, from a technology point of view, the match data we will look at is from previous years and it will be all across the world. This is one of the big challenges from a technology point of view with this project is getting all of the data in, all of the technology integrations, all of the data permissions to be able to have an algorithm that can use all of that data to provide you with your ITF world tennis number. So just finally to talk to you a little bit about the what the scale is, uh, it's 40 to one. So 40 is for your lowest players, for your beginners new to the sport. And one is for our sort of pros at the top of the game, whether that's the ATP or WTA tour. Uh, there's going to be a game zone. So we're really excited about this. So this will tell you, and it will be unique to each player, where you should be finding a competitive match. So the example on the screen shows you that if you were a player rated 9.8, uh, you could have a really good match against someone between a 13 and a 7. So that's the scale of the world tennis number. So hopefully that gives you a quick insight about how we're using technology via a rating system to measure how players are improving, uh, which should give them a really appropriate match and an enjoyable tennis experience. Thank you.
it's important to be able to analyze it in 3D so you can see what you're trying to do with the different types of serves. Zep allows you to step away from that situation in the moment and see the numbers. Thanks for watching this video. We hope to be able to highlight some more innovative products and services in 2021 aimed to make tennis more enjoyable. So keep a lookout for future webinars on the TIA UK website. And if you are a company or individual that has a new product or service for the British tennis market, drop us a line at this email address to find out how the TIA can help you. Well, we very much hope that you found this webinar of interest to your own business. Tennis has been more fortunate than some other sports in being able to get back to some sort of normality at a relatively early stage. And many clubs have recorded an increase in interest and membership during the pandemic, which, of course, is encouraging for the industry as a whole. From my own personal point of view, Prime Video were thrilled by the number of people who watched the Battle of the Brits at the NTC during the summer, then the Cincinnati event, which of course took place in New York, the US Open itself, and most recently the Italian Open in Rome. If you want to ask a question in relation to the contents of this webinar, you can email phil at tiauk.org. That's phil at tiauk.org, and you will receive a response shortly afterwards. Details of other webinars and information on the TIA UK can be found on the website tiauk.org. And that is it. Thank you very much for watching.